so it turns out, instead of shoes, my shoebox was full of oh, the dead God. body of my pet rabbit, Snippers. Was he a good rabbit? No, he fucking sucked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's fucking dead. He's a good rabbit, he's gonna be alive. <laughs> Oh my god. You'll be the one in the shoe box next. <laughs> this is this is a lunchtime story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh poor snippers. But also not poor snippers. He probably deserved that because he sucked. Well apparently, yeah, he sucked. Not a good rabbit. Three out of ten. Would not recommend. Fucking no. Fucking he bit people and shit all over the place. Fucking snippers. He reminds me of Jeff. Just like Jeff. <laughs> hey, drowning in the pool is the perfect <clears throat> day of my life. You feel a thud inside your carriage and there's a cry from outside. You glance out the window. The world is melting. Global warming. Dear God, the liberals were rigged. <laughs> oh, no. Master Shapiro, do you think it was we who were owned? <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Yeah, that is really good. I love the implication that it's Ben Shapiro inside the carriage. <laughs> Master Shapiro. Oh. Master. I'm He's afraid. Master Shapiro, do you think it was we who were <laughs> Oh, It all fits the theme that pretty well. An, that is an incredible ending line. I'm so... I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, yeah, stroke that's my a, ego that's more. That's a book to be proud of. Yes. That's a, honestly, this is a better yeah. story than the novel that Ben Shapiro wrote. <laughs> <laughs> better than right. anything Ben I Shapiro mean, wrote. I don't doubt right. it. Ben, <laughs> the liberals were rigged. <laughs> the liberals were rigged. I couldn't say it but right. <laughs> who was making the cry from outside? <laughs> the liberals. <laughs> <laughs> the liberals. Yeah. They're like, we're <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the polar bears and the, and the, and the polar story. bears out for revenge. They're all just like, ah! It was Mother Earth. <laughs> Mother Earth herself. The closer he got to the lake, the sooner he saw it wasn't water. It was the chemicals making the fucking frogs gay. Wait, oh, well, now I gotta do this in a different voice. Hold on. <laughs> Take it back. The closer he got to the lake, the sooner he saw it wasn't water. The chemicals like in the freaking frogs game. <laughs> That's it. Excellent taste. Would recommend it to all frogs. <laughs> Editor's note: May cause the frogs to become gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that makes about as much sense as one of his regular uh, episodes. <laughs> one of his regular rants. This could be a script, honestly. He's, he's recommending. He's recommending protein shake. Yeah, yeah. It's probably like, this chemical oh is probably God, something he made. <laughs> Something he sells on his store. To mention of frogs, you know, everyone gets it. Good old Alex Jones. There's a degree uh, of separation between the two frogs gay posts. <laughs> we were all on the same way wa same wavelength, except for maybe Ben. Nope. I wasn't I, I was yeah, it was just a prompt, so. I'm really glad where it went. <laughs> oh man. Oh my goodness. Oh, boy. I feel like we're getting the hang of this. Yeah, we're, we're getting good at this. The night is upon us. Time for the fuck no game. Yeah, that was a Ben. <laughs> Sorry, I was having an What were we saying? <laughs> hey, about train sets. Want to see my basement? Oh. This sounds like the opening line. <laughs> <laughs> this is the introduction oh. of the story. <laughs> Oh my god! I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I, oh, I need to get water. Yeah, it is a good day for water. Drink water. Yeah, I'm gonna stay hydrated. The bathroom. Take a, take, take a little break. Is this, is this how it all ends? Everyone just going to the bathroom. I was yeah, before no I started back. recording, so I'm, I'm good to go. Put it back. So, uh, about that airline food. Fucking airline food, am I right? Yeah, fucking Jeff and his airline food. Bastard. Anyway, welcome to uh, part two of the COVID-19 quarantine podcast featuring my friend Acolyte. 
<laughs> How you doing to that acolyte? I'm doing poorly. Oh. I have no legs. Tune in next time on the next episode of the COVID-19 quarantine <laughs> podcast. Good, good episode. <laughs> all right. There we go. See y'all, see y'all later. Drink water. Oh. All right. I got the jello. You better have your half of the deal. Yeah, yeah, here it is. Six grand. You sure you ain't scamming us? <laughs> uh, you sure you ain't scamming us? I ain't no scamming man. I sell salmon cans. <laughs> <laughs> salmon and jello, baby. Salmon and jello. <laughs> Oh, that reminds me of Jello. I'll send you, I'll send you the friends that we've It's in our cursed channel. Hang on. Yeah, this is two um, goons uh, hired by the main villain doing <laughs> business with each other. <laughs> they said, he told them both to meet someone in a warehouse, uh, some, like with, 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 with the specific coordinates, uh, but he didn't tell them together. He told them separately, so they both thought each other was the person they were meeting. Oh. So let me try to get the uh-huh. logistics of this. It's, um, uh,. One person has the jello, and the other person is supposed to have the other side of the deal, which is six grand. Six thousand dollars. And then the first guy is saying, hey, you ain't scamming us, and I ain't a scamming man. I sell salmon. <laughs> so is he See, buying the it. jello, or is he exchanging salmon and six thousand dollars for jello? Well, maybe, you know, think- maybe the implication is that, like, he's a salmon man, he's a salmon guy, but for this one time, he, he gave him jello. You know? Oh, okay, he, he, so he's he not did talking a, he about did him a little side the current jello. transaction. He's okay. saying that does, does, salmon, does salmon inherently make one trustworthy? Yeah, that's the implication here, that, <laughs> okay. hey, I'm a good yeah. man, I mean, I sell salmon, how bad could I be? I'm just a salmon, I'm just a canned salmon salesman, how, what could I do? I, I ain't no salmon man, a, I sell I, salmon I, canned. I'm just a good a, guy. Just a canned salmon salesman with a rocket launcher. <laughs> Black Market Salesman by Dr. Seuss. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's it's this. It's what I just it's just what I put in chat. Except with salmon except except not hot dogs. That's it's disgusting. Mm. That, is, <laughs> dude, that is fucking disgusting. I know. I just at dinner. When I found that box, everything changed. The box itself, empty, cardboard, but I needed it storage and store my hopes and dreams in that box not knowing what's next and i chuck it into the lake <laughs> oh god <laughs> yeah oh that's hard that box. <laughs> that's a that's a story we can all relate to huh that's a story of <laughs> shattered dreams oh, thank. i'm so sorry oh my god <laughs> It's a story. It's a story of uh, completely giving up on all your dreams. Oh my God! Jinx. <laughs> How did you make that so hopeless? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I just had that one context, and I'm like, oh, it'd be funny if I chucked it into the lake. Do you ever hear the tragedy yeah. of Darth Box the unwise? It's not a story. The uh, not a story. My pet rabbit would tell you. Would tell you. I won't say it's something close to human, but not this close. Well, back up then. Sheesh, not that hard. Back it up, back it up. No, 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 not that far. You're running into the fucking... I thought something would come after that. (laughs) 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 To be continued. You'll run into the fucking... Oh, yeah, it's, it's like no, 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 that's, that's the end oh, of the Oh, I read it wrong. You'll run into the fucking high scene. You, you'll run into the mermaid. <laughs> mm, you'll run into the mermaid scene. Oh, no. Mom? Dad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The true magic was the friendship in our hearts. If by friendship you mean heart to <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> After all, you have too many friends that... Can cause excess stress, so I decided it was time. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is this is the mind of a senile person. <laughs> They're losing. <laughs> this is like this is the this is the epitome of like when when an old person sits you down and tells you a story and and, and like every like ten words they like trail off into something different. It's great. But it's all like oh somehow God. sort of related, and then and by the end you're just like, what? The narrative I'm getting I'm getting from this is um uh, someone decided that 
friendship <laughs> was causing too much stress on their life so uh, they don't have a strong as heart as they used to so they decided you know what fuck friendship i'm, I'm looking after myself no more magic <laughs> No more magic. Fuck this. I'm a or maybe this is a now. story of the most pessimistic person in the entire world. So much, so much depression <laughs> you know, in these all stories. stories. All these stories kind of are. Uh, we they, have they, they, uh, we have um, demanding that you're trustworthy because you sell salmon, and then throwing your hopes and dreams into the lake. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't, I don't nightmare. even know what happens in this one. <laughs> and then yeah, get rid of the friendships. Oh boy.